Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today's replay is from Pointy Head Jedi, and he's in the Massachusetts at the 8 US Premium Battleship. He's on map hotspot, it's a 4 point elimination game, it's a tier right battle which is pretty nice, there is no carrier, there is a sub though. So, we shall see how that turns out. Now, you all might be familiar with Pointy Head Jedi, he is a fellow YouTuber, and we are running the Catripoda podcast together. There will be a link to his channel in the video description. Now Jedi is running a secondary build on his Massachusetts. And well his secondaries are opening up on the enemy destroyer. So far they have only scored one hit though. So that's a bit of a shame. Now this Baltimore here looks naked. But these days you know being naked doesn't do anything. Because camels no longer have any combat benefits. So overall, we have a reasonable force here, or oh, both subs are here. It looks like the enemy Seton might come around. And the secondaries are once again engaging the destroyer again. I'm not sure why he isn't using his rear turret to shoot the destroyer. His rear turret is actually looking that way. But he is gonna turn more towards the destroyer to... Probably avoid possible torpedoes coming his way. Also, if Seaton actually pushes, you don't want to be too close to those torpedoes. Now, this destroyer is almost gone, as one would expect with a brawling battleship. The main guns were a disappointment. <laughs> but uh, uh, we cheater here finished off the DD. Direct front. Now we do have a friendly Icarus nearby that could now come in and take this cap. Torpedoes there is a Cleveland, but honestly this cap has some reasonable cover. If if one would park the destroyer like next to Jedi here, it should be working fine. Of course we have lost vision of the Zetan. A Zetan could be coming around here and that would be rather dangerous. Speaking of dangerous, while the Vegeta managed to help sink the destroyer, it's... Uh, it's pretty much in the open, isn't it? That's not gonna end well. Now it would be nice if it wouldn't end well for the enemy Cleveland either, but unfortunately... Not too many ships have shot at it. The nice now is coming around here. And the Cleveland has found some cover. Meanwhile, by the way, it looks like that the Icarus has decided to leave for... Oh, nice hit. Anyway, so the Icarus has decided to leave for... Absolutely no reason. The Gneiser now that came in here decided to leave as well. And the Baltimore is running too. So <laughs> suddenly Jedi is all alone. He almost managed to get the cap. But you know there, there will be too many ships shooting him. So he can't actually cap like this. And that he's lost all of his support is kind of problematic. So there are two fires going, he's using a heal, he has decided to not damage counter two fires, I mean... There is a reasonable chance I guess that they're gonna set more than two fires again. The Albemarle is currently shooting him, the seat and secondaries will soon open up again and... Well, we, we should expect the Cleveland to come around here and lob some shares too at some point. So there's probably a lot of fires in Jedi's future. Now the Seton can launch torpedoes, but Jedi is sailing away and those torpedoes are relatively slow. So, it should be fine in that regard. Of course, the problem is, while the Massachusetts does have decent secondaries, yeah, the Seton has better ones. <laughs> What the Seton doesn't really have is a lot of armor, so technically Jedi can over... Well, the Seton has an icebreaker, but Jedi can overmatch at least the upper part of the nose, in theory. Now, obviously, you first gotta hit the upper part of the nose. And as we've established, the Massachusetts guns aren't that accurate. But the good news is the Massachusetts has a rather low cooldown on the heal and a lot of the high explosive damage he's taking can just be healed back. I mean let's face it that Seton's mine guns are crap too. 
so the secondaries are the much bigger threat. <laughs> now the Zeton has decided to turn broadside for whatever reason. The German battle cruisers don't really have the citadel protection of the other Germans. So the Zeton could totally get citadel. Of course, Cheddar is getting immensely unlucky with his RNG. Like his shells go absolutely nowhere close to where he's aiming. And half of the time they can't even hit the broadside battleship. <laughs> Well, now this dispersion looks a little bit better. Maybe we can finally get a good hit. And well, that was reasonable. Meanwhile, it's looking pretty bad overall. So the enemy team has lost the other flank. There is a blob in the center. I don't know for whatever reason. So first the friendlies all abandoned Jedi a day. Then they didn't even really make it to D it looks like. Because they abandoned D as well. And they are all just huddling there in the center, probably crying. But we shall see how this goes. It's not over yet. The problem is Jedi only has one more heal. Well, I mean, currently has a heal going. But there will be only one more heal left afterwards. So the thing is, Jedi has been fighting against about four ships. And has been kiting away, and he has realized that he has kited all the way into the friendly forces that are running from the other flank for no reason at all. So he is turning around, and he's probably gonna push A again, because what else is there to do? Now that's a nice hit on the Bayern, the guns finally decided to actually hit something. So there is that. Now, is Zeton at what angle? I mean, the good news is, right, that the Zeton has some uh, squishy parts that you could overmatch. But, I mean, look at this disper. <laughs> look, I mean, he got some hits there. But look at how far apart those shells were. I'm not sure which Dark God Jedi has angered, but somebody clearly doesn't like him in this game. Now, a friendly Zeton is with Jedi here. So we'll see what the two of them can accomplish. It does look like though that everybody of the enemy, like the enemy isn't coming directly towards Jedi, they are all pushing more towards the center. Now, if he has to push into A and this, well, he has to be careful with Zeton torpedoes. He's currently raided by Cleveland. Not that he cares much about this, I suppose. Oh, and it looks like the Cleveland is lopping shells here. So Jedi is using his plane in order to get some spotting on the Cleveland, which is working quite nicely. The Cleveland is retreating, so he's decided to take some shots at the Albemarle. Because the Cleveland will make it here behind cover and will unfortunately refuse to be shot at. And there is a Citadel. That's nice. So Jedi is still detected and it looks like this Zeton might be reversing. The Zeton has some pretty decent torpedo angles. I would expect it to try to reverse and torpedo this way. Since Jedi is turning, he's probably expecting something similar. Now, well, he got three shells that actually hit the target. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, a uh, six kilometer battleship is too much for Massachusetts accuracy. So, Jeddah's gonna turn back in to use all of his main guns. He wants to sink the Zeton fast, and I mean, the Zeton isn't very well angled. So there is a distinct possibility of that happening. Well, I mean, Jedi got his high caliber. That's nice. So the since he fire. no longer has any heal left, he's decided to take a risk and damage counter one fire. I mean, he's only under attack by the Zeton, although the Zeton secondaries are reasonable at starting fires. But there is also a chance that, yeah, he's going into concealment here. Unfortunately, the Zeton still lives. Speaking of Zetons, the friendly one is now gonna push into A. Now, 
It's eaten as Hydro, which means it's a lot better. Oh, I read it. Whoops. If I look. Cell Chat, I successfully dodged those dwarves. The enemy team has taken the lead. Now maybe we can finally finish off that friendly Zeton. Eh, uh, the enemy Zeton. <laughs> uh, there you go. Enemy battleship destroyed. Meanwhile, this is a 4 versus 5 game, so... You know, totally doable on ships. Caps is a bit more of a dire situation. The enemy team has a lot more points. Now the friendlies are currently taking over A, which would give them free caps, so that's good news. There is still uh, about six and a half minutes left. Problem, of course, is Jedi is running low on health, has no more heals, and this might just be a problem. Because as we have established, his main guns didn't want to behave an awful lot this game so far. And he might just be trying to stick to more long-range engagements to preserve his remaining health pool. Then again, it's not like anybody else here is volunteering for the tanking. So, oh, that Heinrich is gonna go broadside. That's nice. And I mean, with uh, Jedi's track record, he's probably getting one over pen. Ah, it's one over. There he is. With Jedi. Uh. Oh, well. You can do it, you can sink them one over pen at a time. I believe in you, Jedi. Use the force. Just use the force. Oh, he's on fire again. So he's getting so low that he's damage conning, he just has to take the risk in order to try and survive. And well, I mean, that's three shell hits there. It's something, right? So the good news is. This North Carolina is going to be in secondary range. Now, the secondaries of the Massachusetts don't really have the penetration to actually do a lot of direct damage, but they could set fires. Not that Jedi has had that much luck in setting fires either. <laughs> okay, Heinrich once again broadside. Come on, Shells. Maybe two overpens this time? Yeah, two pens and an overpen. Yep, we, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there. And there is a fire on the North Carolina. That's good news. Now, the problem is Jedi is more or less going to end up in... Oh, another fire. So, as I was saying, Jedi is going to end up in a crossfire if the Heinrich comes around here. Jedi is trying to slow down to stop that from happening. But we've lost track of the Heinrich. And the Heinrich is definitely going to push in. So there is a confederate together with the high caliber. So... The good news is Jedi still has ha uh, more than twice the hit points in the North Cal currently. <laughs> and the North Cal is still on fire. So at least that North Cal is gonna go down. Oof, Jedi's hit points are... Very good. So he has not used his salvo here because he knew the North Carolina was gonna sink anyway. And now he has his shots, uh, shots ready for a broadside Heinrich and... Oh, a citadel! <laughs> there you go, finally RNG delivered some good news. You know, with this it's now a 4 against 2. And the friendlies even have managed to get more points than the enemy. Of course, same amount of cap circles, and if the friendlies lose some ships, this could easily turn around again. It, like, we have the Seton inside B, that's good, but for example, if the Nuremberg sinks the Seton, and that's a full health Nuremberg, and the Albemarle also sinks Jedi, but how healthy is that? Yeah, that Normandy isn't very healthy either. So, the friendly ships are all getting rather low on health. Yeah, Jedi has realized that they now just need to stay alive. And what's, what Jedi is going to do is, he's probably going to try to find some cover to shoot over. Right? Like, taking this engagement would be not a very good idea. The friendlies don't need the kill. 
Well, unless they lose. Oh, the Zetan has sunk the moon. Okay, that, that's good news. That could have ended a lot more badly. Did you see that Zetan barely survived this? But probably got some lucky citadels in. So right now, the friendlies can actually afford to lose a ship. But there is still no reason to... To take any unnecessary risks, I suppose. So what Jedi is going to do is, he's going to sail behind this island. The Icarus is providing the spotting. Well, or maybe not. For some reason, the Icarus is inside a smokescreen. Like, the Icarus really wanted to gun down this Albemarle for whatever reason. I hope that Icarus isn't just sitting in its smoke and then getting hydro rushed. Yeah, exactly. Jed Jedi is trying to warn this Icarus. I don't think that Icarus is doing much about it. Well, is it finally moving? There you go. And now Jedi has a position where he can shoot from stealth. And can we get another overpen? Come on, Sheriff, give me an overpen. Give me two overpens. Oh, it's a citadel. So, uh, Jedi's gun RNG wasn't that great in this battle, but it's nice to see that in the end, when it wasn't really needed, it at least delivered. <laughs> Getting a Citadel there in the end. But uh, it was a just reward for a well-played game, I guess. So yeah, very well done, Jedi. Uh, he scored quite a bit of base experience. He got the Confederate, a Fireproof, a Dreadnought and a High Caliber. And this was a pretty close game. It could have ended quite differently. With, uh, I suppose, a few more different dice rows. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And I'll see you next time.